Howdy everyone, NDTV here with some more of The Last Story. Last episode, we cleared the second season of the arena, and before that, in the episode before last one, we found out that Jeral was imprisoned because he's the one that framed us, except not really. Also, off screen, I changed around my equipment with everyone, or pretty much everyone. Uh, Kalissa's the same, Zale, he was changed. Dagrin is the same. Sirin got some new items. Um, Yurik is different. Marania is different. And Lowell is different. So, yeah. Anyways, let's head into the castle. Because that's a place we can go to. Master Zale. Count Arganum wishes to speak to you at the lookout point. And since there's nothing else for us to do, let's go there. I mean, if we say we'll go later, we can explore, but like I said before, there's nothing left for me to do at least, so let's go. Ah, Zaya. Finally, we approach the main Gorak stronghold. That is the Gorak's main base of operations. Judging from their recent attack upon Lazarus, I dare say they will be well prepared to fight back. But with the Lazarus cannon on our side, victory is certain. Zale, if you show your worth in this battle, I trust you understand. Count Argonon, about Callista. I speak not only of Callista. I will make you a knight. Is that not your dream? We move on the Gorak at once. Are you prepared? Lazarus Island approached the Gorak continent. The call to arms went swiftly out through the castle, and within the day, an attack force had been assembled. Not only Zale, but also his companions were to take part in the attack. As the battle drew nearer, and the sun sank below the horizon, these warriors nervously awaited the fateful night to come. And then... troops broke into Gorak Castle. However, what they saw were not enemy soldiers, but women and children panicking as they tried to flee. You'd better work damn hard now you're with us, boy! <laughs> Yeah, new kid. We'll show you our night fights. Ah, <laughs> uh, that captain's laugh is gonna get really old really fast. It's really annoying. <laughs> Stupid, disgusting humans! Civilian! Down, 
is this? There's, there's nobody here but civilians. <laughs> They're so scared they've already given up. This is gonna be fun. Kill all the Garak! No! Wait! Love, didn't know you were over here. Can I tag along? It's boring on my own. Knights or not, they're still scum. Killing civilians is not something I can do, I'll tell you that. Yeah. So, this is a Garak city, eh? I say city, it's just a bunch of rocks. Ugh, something reeks. <sighs> smells like rotten egg. Ugh. Right. Oh, I. I heard they've got places called hot springs in the countries to the east. They bathe in this lava heated water that smells just like this place. Freaky, huh? Oh, sorry, I forgot. You don't do all that sense of smell stuff. <laughs> what were they saving all this up for, eh? Oi! Don't you touch that! I found it first! Uh, think again, my friend. Back off! No, no, I said think again. I got here <laughs> Hey, don't you push me! <laughs> it's just like back then. They take the land, their families, their lives. They just take and take from those powerless to resist. Such a pittance! Off to the castle! <laughs> they're... They're no different from common bandits. Just give these noble political types a sword and this is what they do. They cut down women and kids while they harp on about pride and honour. Just let me get in a bath. Preferably with Marania. Have you seen her skin? Oh... You're heading for the keep, aren't you? Let's get this done as quick as possible. We've still got a job to do, you know. You're right. Let's go. The city had fallen all too quickly. Now the Lazarus Knights had to pursue Zangorak. They began their final objective of invading the central keep. Deathly silence fell over the devastated city as Zael took his first steps inside the keep. The advance party says they've taken the castle depths. To the throne room! Right, you lot. You're working for us humans now. Underground? Nothing but civilians, sir. Hey, we haven't got all day. Move. All we wanted to do was live in peace. Some of us were just children, but they destroyed our village out of selfish greed. Stop, Dordling. Get on now. Oi! Quit your dilly dallying! Zael, come on. We can talk about this as much as you want afterwards. Just keep your mind on getting this done for now. Then we can get out of here.
What, no enemies here either? <laughs> the spineless cowards must have heard you coming and ran. I'll bet! <laughs> Listen to that. What an arsehole. <laughs> My name's Captain McChuckles. Seriously though, if I have to see these guys again, I'm gonna throw a wobbly. Honestly, what's with him? Who laughs like that? He must be putting it on. King of the Garak would be tough. He's nothing but a coward. Now this continent is ours. <laughs> Captain, perhaps we should take this castle as a reward for our deeds. <laughs> right. It'll make a nice winter home when I retire. <laughs> Please, stop it. All they wanted to do was live in peace. How could they hurt all those people so easily? How? I still find it most odd that they left all this treasure without even one soldier to guard it. Perhaps it's a trap. Relax. They were just too terrified to do anything but run. Sail, get a grip. Look around. If you want to stop this, then you need to be stronger. You can't just block it out. You're gonna have to climb to the top and change things that way. Your own way. Get it? Now back to business. Finish up and we can get the hell out. One of the prisoners we captured let slip something strange. Strange? How? He said that the Gorak soldiers pulled out of here just before we attacked. You mean... I do. The enemy knew we were going to invade. It can't be. Are you saying one of us is an insider working for the Garak? Who knows? Right now they're asking the prisoner for details. With extreme prejudice. This castle is now mine! <laughs> Surely the whole island belongs to you, Captain. Oh! <laughs> I guess you're right! <laughs> How can these creatures be called knights? What would General Astar say? You saw. Are these the knights you so aspire to be like? It's not some fairy tale world of knights and princesses like in the stories. There is no freedom here, only treachery and deceit. I don't want you to live in a world like that. Oi, new kid! Go and check that door there. There might be more Garak hiding through that way. I cannot entrust this to you alone. I will join you. No, Zael! Don't leave me here with laughing boy. Yep, so we've seen what the knights of Lazarus City will Lazarus City, I mean. Yeah, we we've seen what they'll do when presented with an opportunity to hurt civilians. Not good. Not good. And judging from what we've already learned, there's nothing but more civilians around. There! After him! 
Damn! They've already lost the castle. What's the point in fighting anymore? That's not a soldier. No! Wait! Human filth! You are killing us without a fight! Lower your weapons! The fighting's over. I won't hurt you. You're all so gaunt. Does Zangorek treat you badly? The soil of this land became barren long ago. Finding anything to eat is difficult. King Zangorak appeared wielding a strange power, and he united our people. He said if we go to the human continent, then we can live as we once did. These Garak are no different from us. It's the land's decay that's causing all this conflict. They're about to begin the bombardment. Hurry! Our forces will withdraw soon. You have to use that chance to escape. Bit of a one-sided invasion, this. Without warning, too. I mean, yeah. The Garak attacked us first, but they never touched civilians, yet here we are. A master's orders are absolute. It is a knight's duty to follow, no matter what the order. Well, how stupid's that? Just hacking away without thinking about it. In the end, all they had to do is say, I was just following orders. You think that's okay? Seren. All right, don't mess yourself. Stuff like that just gets to me, sorry. That's fine. Now, maybe we can wrap this up and have a little drinky. Hey, Zale? satisfying just seeing the captain squirm like that just because he's a jerk all of these knights here are jerks I think the only good knights we've seen so far are just General Astar and Therius everyone else they're all just jerks they attack civilians and then rob from them when given the chance. It's not right. Now you'd better not forget what we've done for you. Cause if you do... Yes, Mom! Uh, I, I won't! Oh, on the bright side, Serena gets her spirit attack with Shadow Search, which is pretty ha- uh, it's pretty handy. Ha ha ha! Serves you right! I feel so much better. Therius, can I ask you something? What? Dagrin often said that knights are no more than tools of those in power. That they sell their integrity for status. Becoming fools with no will of their own. Slaves to their own loyalty. He would say something like that. Therius, do you ever regret becoming a knight? A foolish question. Hmm? If I had doubts, I would have turned back long ago. I do only what I believe is right. <laughs> 